Hi folks, I want to, good morning and God bless you. I want to show you a quick video, a little video, and ask you to think about it. <laughs> she bit him. I thought that was practical. Great smash that phone. <laughs> so, um, I also want to link and ask you to think about this, um, this uh kind of a weird image to leave off on anyway uh ask you to think of this in terms of not just an individual but um in terms of the kidnapper um as as what a government um and the policies and the things that they do for this reason which is totally, totally, totally exactly what they do. I'm going to link an article in here. This one, um, I have seen this report a few times that thousands of unaccompanied minors. In immigration, there's a separate uh, petition you can do for unaccompanied minors uh, who come to the States without a parent or legal guardian. And they'll either find family over here that can be such, or they'll be put into a system. Um, and that system lacks reliability in, in uh, give you to a better view, oh, lacks accounting and reporting. Um, I'm working from home today and intending on publishing the website in which I'm going to put a lot of information up about, I've completed the stuff about religious, military, and student exemptions, but also I'm going to put some stuff about, um, uh, liability and who's behind, uh, liability for those who are uh, behind a lot of uh, what the nation and indeed the world going through. Um, in any event, I was saying that I'm going to put a link up to a, uh, a few articles I had seen. And then of course, in this, in this, uh, article, they have to now point out that I believe like they say, like 65,000, um, kids had been reported to be taken in as unaccompanied minors in a certain set of months or under the Biden administration of that 33% uh, can't be located or found 33, right? 33 is a very Masonic number. It's not by accident that they're reporting it this way. Um, but in any event, uh, I'm just pointing out that um, when you view that video, you know, it's not just uh a bad, bad, you know, big bad guy that's coming down to grab this, this kid, you know, an isolated incident. It's a big bad government that um, that works in in unions, unions in an organization. So, um, I just saw a really disgusting interview. When Obama Nation is talking to um, uh, to Harris, that serpent, and Harris said to Obama Nation, "Give me some insight on Joe. Give me some insight how I should handle him." I don't know if she's actually said handle him or not, but um, in any event, uh, that's what she asked for was insight, and. They 
laughed it up. Gosh, that was, you know, almost too much to bear. But after laughing it up, um, Abomination replied, oh, and this is pretty much verbatim. Abomination replied, oh, Biden's favorite food is ice cream. And also, he likes pasta with red sauce. He 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 can go in deep. He can go deep about that. So that's also code word for they're both male, uh, boy, prostitutes or or, or traffic children. Um, this is Obama abomination talking, uh, straight up telling Harris right in front of our faces what um, what they do. So, this is nothing new, folks. It's been around. This is a scriptural. I mean, this is written about in scripture. What these folks' practices are, um, you know, is indeed abomination. So, just please, you know, keep an eye. To, if you you have children and they're in school, please take them out and homeschool them because um, they're not safe there anymore the reports on that are wide and clear and matter of fact um uh i finally finished the majority of the website that i've been working on which is a lot about um accountability for uh, legal accountability how to get it who to how to, step by step and some information about that so it's lexdevac le X D E V A C and I'm gonna uh make that live today. I'm really happy about um being able to complete that. So anyway folks, I just want you to be aware of those issues and protect your children. Whatever you do, like a lot of folks can't really be brave for ourselves. You know, we sometimes don't consider ourselves worthy to be brave for I don't know what the problem is but we can't sometimes be brave for ourselves but we can be brave we can all be brave for our children we can do that so um the big picture is take them out of school watch over them pray for them and develop networks of people that are like-minded like you that are not going to take um, abomination into their bodies by way of the government and uh, develop, develop, develop those networks. That's a big tab on the website too is, is developing those networks. And um, yeah, because you know, we all know that we can say only very limited things here on this on this forum so anyway folks hope you're having a great day and god bless you